Run is in full swing, and this year the annual film festival celebrates its 25th anniversary. Joining us live is the executive director of River Run, Rob Davis, to recap opening night and to give us a preview of the numerous screenings still ahead. Hi, Rob. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Hi, Christine. It's great to be here. All right, so the festival started Thursday. Just yesterday, you screened 15 films. What a way to kick off the weekend. So how does it feel to be celebrating this year, doing anything special to commemorate that silver anniversary? Special guests, maybe? Well, we do. We've got some great special guests. Uh, last night, we presented our Master of Cinema Award to Academy Award winner Tom Schulman. He has a new film in the festival called Double Down South. Now, tonight we're showing uh, one of his films, but then Double Down South will repeat again tomorrow. So we're thrilled that Tom is with us. Uh, also, Karen Allen is here. Of course, fans know her from Raiders of the Lost Ark and so many of her huge Hollywood hits. But she is a phenomenal actress in also very, very nuanced roles in independent films. And this year we have her brand new film. It's called A Stage of Twilight. Uh, it will play tonight at 7 o'clock, and we will present her with her Master of Cinema Award. And then tomorrow, we're going to show one of her classics, uh, the sci-fi film Starman. So, Rob, I would imagine that many of the films are intended for adult or mature audiences, but there are some free family-friendly options. Can you tell us about those? I certainly can, and that's especially appropriate today because in just a couple of hours, at 10 o'clock, we're going to be starting Saturday morning cartoons, and I always tell folks that while the audience skews younger on Saturday morning cartoons, they're really for cartoon fans of all ages. That's free at Haynes Brands Theater. And then tonight, uh, I mentioned that we had another film we were featuring by Tom Schulman. Well, it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He wrote the script for that. And that's going to be a free outdoor screening at Crossnor. That sounds great. Now, there were a few uh, documentary films that focused on music. Could you give us a little overview about those? Sure. You know, Christine, some years you get uh, just a preponderance of films around a certain topic, and there's no real reason for it. This year that happened to be music, and so some of the ones coming up in the, today and the, and the next couple of days, uh, we have one called It's Only Life After All. It's a great new documentary about the Indigo Girls, and it gives you a lot of insight to those women and the creation of their music. Uh, we also have Ennio, which is about the prolific film composer Ennio Morricone. And, you know, it's always great when you learn something new in a film, and I had no idea. He also did pop music. And uh, we have... Uh, several jazz films, but one, a couple that are coming up, Sloan, a jazz singer, is about the vocalist Carol Sloan. It's by a local filmmaker, Michael Lippert. And let me just say, as a jazz fan, I think Carol Sloan is a vocalist more people need to know about, both for her musical talent and her life in general. And then finally, the last jazz film, which plays tomorrow night, is Ellis. And it's a terrific film about Ellis Marsalis, who is really the patriarch of the first family of jazz in this country. All right, so you mentioned that movie. That's tomorrow. Are there any film screenings, other ones that you're excited about tomorrow? Well, there are a couple of films coming up that, that are just personal favorites of mine in the festival. Uh, one of them is The Forger, and it's based on a true story. Uh, the young man who plays the lead, uh, people will recognize him from some Netflix work. But in The Forger, it's it's about a 21-year-old man living in Germany in World War II. He is so adept at forging passports and other documents that he saves many of his fellow Jews, but he's able to keep working because he forges his own identity. It's just a tremendous film. And then another one is Blackberry. And it's based on the book, Losing the Signal, and it is a narrative film, not a documentary, but it is about, really, the rise and fall of, for those of us old enough to remember, the Blackberry, which was sort of the first smartphone. I love those storylines. So interesting, Rob, and we thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for your time. Christine, thanks, and everything is at riverrunfilm.com. All right, yeah, and just to, to kind of capitalize on that, the 2023 River Run International Film Festival happening now through the 22nd. 174 films being screened from 34 countries.
tickets run $10 for students, $12 for others, and you can find a schedule as well as purchase tickets at their website.